Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and in this video we're going to be talking about combos with Nobara in Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. Now, as a dedicated zoner, her combos are of course not going to be the best, but she does have some useful links and pseudo combos that are very, very useful. So, um, of course, the most simple combo you're going to be constantly doing is just mashing the attack button to get this full attack string because it applies your nails. If you have landed the down version of this attack, where you go into a joint attack chance, unfortunately, you cannot combo into your full regular attack string, so you have to either just let your opponent go in, into some kind of joint attack or just go straight into one of your specials and apply either a nail or a dull. If you land your standing triangle or Y, it's multi-hitting, it hits the opponent many times and lets them recover afterwards. You can't combo off of it, but, but because the opponent is in a recoverable state, they'll flip out and then you can detonate your doll and your nails that you have applied to the opponent. But that is only if they are a recovering opponent. If they don't recover, then just use all that time to set up whatever you want or attack the other opponent, because they'll be on the ground for a while. The same applies for the down version. It puts them into a recoverable state, but to be honest, this attack isn't too useful, so you don't really need to know about it. Now, off of her B or circle attacks with these hammer slams, I particularly like the down version because the down version lets you combo into... Oops, not if the opponent gets blasted away. The down version lets you combo into a dull application, which is very, very useful. Every time you get this, you get a dull automatically. Now, you can technically do this if you have a recovering opponent, if they recover, you'll automatically get a doll, but if they don't recover, um, you'll miss that. But you can technically still combo off of it if you do a nail, even if they a uh, combo, even if they recover or don't recover. But the only thing I prefer about applying the dolls is that the dolls are just better and may as well when you can. So yeah, whenever I'm in this mid-distance range and I'm not just spamming nails, I'm going to be using this hammer swing because it travels really far, is really safe, it recovers very fast, and I get to combo into a doll. And you can make the combo even better if you already have a doll applied by doing the hammer into the doll detonate into another doll application. And that is actually a combo, it adds a bunch more damage, and you still get to keep effectively one doll on the opponent. You don't lose any because you apply them while detonating them, and that's probably the most damaging actual combo she does. Um, she can also kind of with the same kind of links, use her ultimate. So if I have done this hammer slam, I can either just go straight into the ultimate, or actually, if I do that, that's gonna kill the opponent. Let me let me do something that'll make it me. Like I said, if you're comboing on your own off of this, you can just go for a hammer slam here. And once you have a doll applied, you've got some pretty good combos into your ultimate. So I can do this, into my doll, into my ultimate. And that's going to do a chunky chunk of damage. In fact, it's going to kill, basically, no matter what. And honestly, that's basically all there is for combos with Nobara, but also just something extra combo-wise to keep in mind is that when you activate the doll, it does not blast the opponent away like activating the nail does. So if you have multiple dolls or a doll and a nail, just as long as you have a doll and something else, you can activate two things in a row basically. So I have my nails applied, even if I have a bunch of nails. So you see multiple things applied and one of them is a doll. I can activate the doll and then because it leaves the opponent standing, I can go straight into a nail. And if I had multiple nails, that would have done tons of damage. Or if I had two dolls, that would have done tons of damage. That is really where the really crazy damaging potential of Nobara comes in. When you have multiple things applied that you can detonate one after each other. And there's just not much the opponent can do about it. Especially when you're using them to combo off of something that the opponent has recovered from. And they accidentally get hit by this because they're like, oh, let me recover, get to you quickly, they'll regret it. Because look at the amount of damage he takes for that. Now, when she's at lower levels, her doll application does actually change a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't blast the opponent down. So instead, you can just go for another hammer slam or something to blast the opponent really far away in a really long, hard knockdown. And even though that doesn't add any more damage, you'll build a little bit more of your cursed gauge and they'll be locked, knocked really far away for a long time and you can start attacking either the other opponent, you know, saving your teammate or something like that. But yeah, the combo is slightly different, but hey, as long as it applies a doll, it doesn't really matter to me what the combo is. Okay, now let's just go in and 
as we finish off the video, just show what an ideal sequence would look like. So if we pretend these are real people, they're going to be running around, going after my opponent at the round start. I apply one of these nails while they're cheap. I catch someone off guard and go for something like this. Now I've applied some things. As I'm like walking around, I can use this mobile way of applying more nails. Blast that opponent over there. Go for this again. If I've got a recovering opponent, I can combo into this. Apply more dolls onto him. I'm um, come over here. This reaches really far and it's really safe, so I can kind of just spam this in the air as much as I like. Apply some more dolls. Just keep on moving around, moving around. If I'm really far away, I'll just throw out some raw versions of these. And I'm kind of just, you know, running around, throwing things. If I need to throw out one of these, because they are tracking, they're really good at, you know, keeping the opponent away. The opponent recovers. I hit Gojo over there. He thinks he's safe. Nope. I activate this, then activate this. Then I'm all good. And this guy's over here. He's kind of low on life, so I'm just going to come in here. Go for a hammer, and then go for this unblockable ultimate to hopefully deal a big chunk of damage or even finish him off. And you know, there's a Gojo or someone over here. They have some things applied on them. Pretend I'm over here attacking Megumi or Gojo's attacking my teammate. I'm not even anywhere near Gojo. But as long as I know that the cursor is blue, that means he's able to be hit, and I can just activate my doll or activate my nail, and he'll die. And that's basically all you need to know combo-wise with Nomara. Not anything completely technical, but as long as you know how to link things together, you can make your damage pretty insane. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.